Hello guys, welcome back. This is actually take two of this video um, because I filmed yesterday but what came out was a bit a bit too a bit too much so I'm gonna try to relax today keep it a bit more calm huh? and we have a subject to discuss because I'm furious I mean I was furious yesterday Today I'm gonna try and uh, yeah keep keep it cool and um, let's talk about this. Okay, so what I want to talk to you today is big companies. Are they good or are they bad? Well, in my opinion, they are fucking bad. They are useless. They are really bad for us all drivers. Why am I saying that? And I've got a a, a special problem with a special company which is called Eddie fucking Stobots excuse the language why do I have a problem with them? well um, there was a guy a couple of days ago um, bragging on um, I mean not bragging he was just showing off his uh, his pay slips on a uh, Facebook uh, driver page here in the UK saying that uh, he was very happy with, his, with the job he had because he's driving a new wagon because he's pulling new trailers because he's eating free I don't know where until it came to the wages and for some reason I, I don't know why, why did he put the uh, the payslip up there but whatever we all saw that he's earning £10.80 an hour £10.80 yeah you hear me correctly £10.8 or 10, 10 point six. I don't know I, I, I must, must not remember, but I'm just gonna say 10, 10 point eight. 10 pounds 80 an hour. I mean, <laughs> fucking hell, guys. I mean, oh, well, seriously. So, I was thinking that I've got a friend who's working at um, a very, very famous Indian uh, restaurant here in Liverpool. And I think he's doing, I think he's on um, 11.50, something like that. Uh, yeah, he's a sous chef, so um, it took him a while to uh, to get there. But um, yeah, not easy being a sous chef, but it's not easy being a, a truck driver, right? First, let's talk about the training. To be a lorry driver, first you have to spend about I don't know how much is it now, but I would guess around five thousand pounds to get your uh, your licenses. Um, and then it comes to responsibility, right? As I've said it for years and years now, we have a huge responsibility. If my friend working in, a, in this restaurant drops on the ground a huge bowl of curry, one of those big pots of curries, right? 20, 50 liters. If he drops it on the ground, do you know what's gonna happen? Absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. If I drop a pallet of the trailer, if I have a blowout, if I'm not paying one second, if I'm not paying attention on the road, I'd, I could kill somebody, right? And maybe even end up in jail. Am I right or not? So that Stoba driver has 10 times more the amount of responsibility than my friend, and he's earning less. Now, why am I saying all this? First of all, it's not my business. I'm not trying to judge people, okay? I have a personal problem with the large companies which are paying shit money. I mean, how come, how, I mean, those drivers, how can they even afford to come to work with the, with the fuel prices these days? I mean, yeah, of course they, they don't because they are tramping, so they only use their car twice a week. But if you have to go, every day i don't know for let's say 20 30 miles to get to work how can you even afford to get to work if you're earning under a hundred pounds a day i mean and i'm not blaming the drivers here don't get me wrong in some circumstances if you just got your license um, you have no experience sometimes the big companies yeah they might take you over um, but of course under this uh, under these wages so yeah maybe in that case 
you should maybe stay two or three months in, a, in, a, in that kind of a place but then just move on move on because this thing will affect us all do you know what I mean just imagine this if let's say my company are doing this run right now let's say for a thousand pounds okay from here to uh, to Scotland let, let, let's just say that let's just round it up we are doing this for a thousand pounds okay maybe Stobart could come in and steal this job do you know what they will say a thousand pounds yeah that's that's too much we can do it for 700 because we are paying the drivers less right so they can actually knock us out of this of this run just because they can afford it to lower the price because they're not paying the drivers as they will they, as they should be paid does it make any sense or not because that's that's the way I see it this is a tricky junction because sometimes idiots can cut you in you have to start, start on the right and then move over to the middle lane so yeah that's why uh, that's why I have a problem with this uh, with these big companies you know I do get asked all the time I mean is it good to work for this company is it bad to work for this company and um, I think it's all down to personal personal uh, preferences but and, and this is just my thoughts okay you, uh, you don't have to agree with me and please 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 feel free to write your uh, write your own thoughts in the the uh, comment section below because I like to read them I read them all um, what I don't read is comments of comments because they don't show up as a notification for some reason I don't know but uh, you know I read and they respond to all your comments so I'm very curious to find out your opinions as well so uh, yeah a lot of a lot of times I'm, I'm, I'm asked should I start on a big company or should I look for a small company well, the truth is, if you're just starting, you don't have too many options. You don't you don't really have a choice. You have to maybe get what's offered, just build your experience, and then try to hunt the um, the good wages. I mean, that's what I do. I don't care if it's a big company, if it's a small company. What it has to be very clear for me is. Um, the rates the, the hourly rates how much am I getting paid per hour right that's why you will never see me probably in um, not probably that that I can swear that you you will never see me in a uniform like Starbucks or I don't know any other company you will not see me because in my opinion yeah, good companies are okay to work for as long as you go with the agency. When you're when you're trying to uh, to go directly with them, everything changes. Even the tone of the discussion between you and the office it changes. That's how uh, when I'm when I'm working directly for a company I, I would feel like trapped you know I'm on a contract let me just remember if I ever was but I don't think so I don't think I'm just trying to remember if I ever was a uh, directly with a company like uh, on the um, on the contract but no I, I don't think so I've always been either LTD or um, or, or agency because um, it's just it, I mean they treat you a bit different and as being an agency and I think they are treating you a bit better now I don't know if that's because they want to um, they want to suck you in to get the full-time job there but from my experience, I've always been treated very, very nice being an agency driver. I know that uh, I know that we get a lot of hate from uh, from the guys who are on contract, and then we hop over and 
and drive their uh, drive their trucks and uh, I don't know get mud all over the place I know there are situations in which agency drivers are just leaving shit all over the, the truck not my case so uh, yeah I never had a problem with that what I do is I always try to hunt the good money and not too many hours and on a big company when you're gonna go on pay I mean uh, on, on the contract you can say goodbye to um, to choosing your own shifts or how many hours you want to work you know most of the times when you're gonna go and uh, with with an agency to work for a big company they will not give you many hours why because the uh, uh, the rate that they are paying the agency is very high so then they only want to keep you for like let's say 9 10 12 hours tops because they don't want to pay too much for the agency they want to put their own guys which are on shit money on contract to do the hard work and usually the agencies get the uh, the easiest and the shortest jobs and that's what i like i like easy job shifts and nothing to uh nothing too complicated not 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 too not too not too long not too you know what i mean now i'm not trying to say that agency work is the way to go because it might not be for everyone it just works better for me and that then it's just me you know what i mean I, I i i couldn't tell you you should only do agency or no that works for me and i'm happy the way that i do things maybe you wouldn't be then i can't give you any any advice i can only tell you on this channel i can only tell you my experiences i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say do this or do that no it, it's up to personal personal uh, preferences but uh, why what i've experienced once is um, i was through an agency pulling containers actually the first ever video did on this channel i did it um, working for these guys and um, being with agency as i've said short shifts 10 hours 12 hours tops then they came to me and said look do you want to work directly with us I said yeah but i'm not gonna go contract they say no 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 problem you can go ltd and that was i don't know how long maybe two years ago and i said yeah look if i'm gonna um, if you can take me as, uh, as ltd yeah no problem i can do that we're just gonna skip the um skip the agency and that's what we did after that everything changed i mean 15 hours every single possible day i mean i was i used to max the hours everything changed the tone of the of the office as i've, as I've told you before the way they spoke to me even though i wasn't on a contract i was ltd i could fuck off whatever i wanted to but the tone changed the whole everything changed a lot of hours because they were paying me less than uh, they used to pay the agency a lot of hours and all that and uh, eventually i left because I didn't like it they were they were pushing really really hard and um, i remember one day i put the truck on the bay and the deal was I mean that's how you do it on uh, containers it's it's the truth i know it's not perfectly legal but um, when you're on containers you are taking your brakes basically while getting tipped that's 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 the truth i know it's not um, as i've said entirely legal but uh thing is sometimes to unload the containers can take i don't know seven hours i think i've got a video on me sitting on the bay for for seven hours they, it can take a lot of time and the deal is take your break while you're while you're um, 
while you're in the bay and uh, that's what I used to do and so what happened um, I backed it up on the bay I went to check everything in, if the height is correct and all that and um, from the back of the lorry I went straight to the toilet where I've spent maybe I don't know 10-15 minutes because first of all it was far away and uh, I used the toilet you know what I mean then I went back to the truck and I put it on brake um, after about half an hour I rang them because uh, I was all done um, and uh, just asked them where do you want me to go next you know um, she said there he said you can go now I said hang on I have to take another I mean I still have 15 minutes of, uh, of my break and they asked me how come he said look because I went to the back of the truck and from there I went straight to the toilet when I came back 15 minutes later I put it on break and I have 15 minutes of other work and half an hour of break so I need another 15 minutes of break they were so mad at me that I, I, I just couldn't believe it they were like you should you should have put yourself on the brake as soon as you hit the bay fucking hell and I was like oh whoa 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 hang on hang on so this I think will be my last shift because you're gonna if you're gonna talk to me like that if you're expecting me to I don't know walk around the truck or do basically uh, work lifting the trailer and readjusting it and then just going to the loo and take a shit and for that you're fucking yelling at me because I should have been on break. I think that was my last shift. Because, <laughs> I mean, that was just absolutely ridiculous. And this was, at the time, was a um, pretty small company. I think they had maybe five, six, seven trucks, something like that. And, um, yeah, if you're going to ask me, is it a good thing to work for... A good com a, a, a small company or a big company well once again it depends small companies what they usually do because they are desperate to grow they're gonna chase you they're gonna chase you like crazy you're gonna max the hours everything will be stressful everything will be made in a rush they're just gonna rush you that's what I've experienced. Maybe in your case it's going to be different. On the other side, on the big companies, things are indeed, they are a bit more relaxed. Well, some examples of the big companies that I used to work for is X Hermes or B&M. Why not? Because they are, they are, I think they have hundreds of trucks things were indeed a bit more relaxed um, you had your plan um, you knew how long the shift is gonna be before you started your your actual actual shift because they, they use this kind of um, of software programs and um, there is a margin of error usually that margin of error is uh, so let's say if they're going to give you the paperwork with uh, 12 hours the, the shift is going to be 12 hours it might be a chance that you're going to finish that shift in 10 hours you know what i mean because they are they are made that way both bnm and uh, x enemies so it was it was relaxed uh, uh, the only time i used to spoke with the um, with the office with the planners is in case uh, in case i got uh, i got problems in rest nobody was calling me um, to tell me what am I doing or no if, you, if, you, if you're gonna do your, your job nobody will ever call you on, uh, on a big company or on those two companies I don't want to generalize, generalize this but um, yeah that's what I found out big companies usually more relaxed um, by uh, small companies they will definitely run you all over the place just because they are, they are desperate to grow up and uh, it's stressful yeah it's stressful 
The smallest company I've ever drove for was a guy I was pulling containers there. I think last year, when I just got the, the 360 camera, uh, he only had two trucks and uh, we were pulling for maritime. Um, and I made a deal with him because um, it was uh, I was paid by the shift and I said yeah okay uh, I'm okay working uh, based I mean paid by the shift as long as the shifts don't go over 10 hour a day average so if I was on um, on a 50 hour 50 hours a, hours a week that was okay but it didn't happen. I went, I think, over 60 or 65. And then when you break it down hourly, the hourly rate drops down. I think I stayed there for about two or three weeks and moved and uh, moved over. Because um, basically it's, um, it's all about the time you're going to spend at the workplace. It doesn't matter if, I, if I've stayed once and tipped for seven hours. I was still working right i was right here i was waiting i was i don't know what but i was still wait, wo working doesn't matter if the truck was stationary that's just my opinion Do you want to know why I came into the UK in the first place? Well, I came into the UK because from all the countries I've been in Europe, here in the UK, I felt more respected. I, uh, I was always greeted with a smile and the pay was great. The wages, even I think to this day, don't quote me on that, I think they are the best wages in Europe, being a truck driver. That's why I came into the UK. Now, if this thing continues and the big companies are offering shit wages, in a couple of years, maybe there will be no other truck company except Storbot. Right? And then everything will go to shit. All drivers will be paid will be paid peanuts and for me do you know what for me it's very easy because if that thing happens I can pack the van and get the fuck out if I can no longer provide for the family if that respect is not continued and uh, the wages will go down the, the shithole I'm out for me it's very easy you see I'm a, I'm a migrating ape I can go wherever I want tomorrow for me it's very easy if I can't provide anymore I'm out of here but what about the locals the natives what are they gonna do you should see then <laughs> the driver crisis how is it gonna be? I will be up in the mountains at my cabin and watching other people vlog and my conscience will be clear because I did my best. I had the platform. I was always urging people to find and hunt better jobs with better pay so that the, the whole level will go up my conscience will be clear. But what are you going to do? Just think about that. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not fighting for my, for myself only. I'm <laughs> I'm trying to fight for the whole community, the whole industry, if you want to believe me or not. I care so that all of us earn better money not just me or somebody else no 
I will want to fight for everybody as a whole because that's that's how it should be you know but with the with, with these companies the big the big companies taking over everything I'm not sure I'm not sure where it will go but as I said my conscience will be my conscience will be clear up in the mountains by the lake at my cabin and just remembering because I can go tomorrow you know what I mean it's very very easy for me to do that I've got nothing holding me anywhere anywhere but think about yourselves Lunchtime, baby. So, after this video, I'm sure I will get a lot of hate, especially, I mean, probably from the store bus drivers. But you know what? I don't really care. Um, it's up to you eventually where do you want to work and for how much. But the truth is, it affects us all. So uh, yeah, what can I say? That's just my opinion. This is my channel. This is my opinion. So if you don't like it, you can press the dislike button. Nobody will see it anyway. You can unsubscribe if you don't agree. Um, and uh, happy quitting. And good luck finding a decent job. For fuck's sake don't prostitute yourself best of luck see you next time bye